today's the day. Today's the day we go to Blue Beacon and wash this thing. It needs it bad, really bad. I'm excited. Are you excited? I just met Sheldon. It's from my area back home. Came over here to say hi, so shout out to you, Sheldon. It's nice to shake your hand. I barely get in my truck and people are already trying to get a hold of me. It's always something, what's going on, what's going on? Oh, it's snowing back at home apparently. Oh boy, great. So I hope that snow is cleared and uh, the roads are dried by the time I get there tomorrow. But whatever, it's still gonna be worth it. I have to wash Old Blue. Black River Falls, Wisconsin, let's get going. We've got a truck wash waiting for us and probably a lineup on a day like this. Hopefully the lineup's not too long. Either way, I've got to get it washed. I mean, if it's too long, I could go pick up my load, which is just down the road. We're going to go to the Blue Beacon in Portage, Wisconsin. And Evansville, Wisconsin is just a little further down the road. I mean, if the lineup is too long, we'll go grab our load and then we'll come back and see how it is. But if it's long then too, I mean, either way, i got to get this truck washed. It has been way too long, way too long. And I'm finally out in a region where I can get to a blue beacon. And I've got time today. I've got to make it happen. Guess we're waiting for traffic here. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's going that way. Wait. I thought he would be going that way. Okay. Whatever. The interstate's this way. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's get ourselves on the runway. get up to highway speed before we get to the highway. Oh, but I got a yield sign here, I better be careful. It's construction. And we're good, we're good. Good day. I can feel it. It looked like there's quite the lineup, so I'm gonna go take a little bit of a closer look. We're here in Portage, Wisconsin. Turn right. If the lineup is too long, I'm gonna go grab my load down the road first and then come back. Let's see what the lineup looks like then. If it's still long. Meters, turn left on, connecting road and then approaching destination on the right side. At if, 40 meters. If the lineup is still long, then well, we'll just wait in line then. But at least I'll have my load, right? <coughs> no, it doesn't look too bad actually. One, two, three, four, or five in line right now. Two, three, four. 
Turn left and then turn left in 150 meters. Why, Karen? How do I get in there? In 100 meters, turn left on connecting road and then approaching destination on the left side in 250 meters. Yeah, we'll get in line now. It's got to be done, either now or later, so we may as well just get it done now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six trucks in front of me. Ah. Not the greatest circumstance, but it is what it is. We're moving up pretty quick, actually. I always forget how fast these lines go. There's only three guys in front of me now. We've only been here for about 15 minutes. Not too shabby. Just about next in line. It's been an hour. So that didn't take long at all. I mean, they still gotta bring this guy in. They just, they got one guy, one guy in there with the whole truck and they just brought this guy's front end in. Yeah, and their moves pretty quick. I'm always impressed. These guys move fast. Hopefully they're doing a good job too. It's official, I'm next in line. One hour and eight minutes for them to get through six trucks. Plus the one that was in the wash bay. So technically seven trucks. Oh, that feels good. That feels real good. It's like a spa day for me too. Much, much better. It's not perfect because I need to get it polished again. But definitely. Definitely a lot better. They can always get it cleaner than I can. We'll continue on our way in a much better mood. In 400 meters, turn right on Kenny Road. Absolutely. Go get our trailer switched. Our load is already loaded on another trailer, so I drop this one, hook onto that one, tie it all down. Hopefully it's not too intricate and detailed. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're super easy and quick to tie down. Well, In 200 meters, turn right on Kenny Road. See what we run into when we get there. For now I gotta figure out how to get out of this parking lot. Is that the exit? I think that's the exit. There goes a the truck right there, so that's, that's gotta be the exit. Or is this the entrance? No. Both, right? Nothing says don't exit here. Yeah, we can exit here. Why not? tricky to get back onto the interstate. They often do this with these big truck stops, I guess to sort of control the flow of big trucks. Otherwise it's just chaos. A cowboy over there on the right. In 200 meters, turn left on WI-78. You see him? Right on. 
on I-39 South I-90 East I-94 East. When you have a clean truck, the truck even seems to run better. I know it's just in my imagination, but I don't know. To me, it just seems to run smoother and better when it's clean. Maybe it's just my brain that works smoother and better. Pretty nice load, eh? Not bad. Easy enough. That's not ours. That's ours. Just got finished with this. I put cardboard on here. On a flatbed, on an open deck. But okay. That's okay. It'll work. I had to put an edge protector on every corner. I'm not allowed to get on the load, very strict. I can't get on the freight. I had to use these ladders here. And that's my load. I'm gonna take it home. Would have been nice to have that one, right? area was packed but we found a spot to park and we spent the night we're uh, just past Rogers Minnesota I believe just past Clearwater Minnesota there we go just past the TA Clearwater got this rest area pulled in here I was tired I had some more hours that I could go further but I didn't want to push myself I was tired and I can get home the next day from here so pulled it in another five hours to drive tomorrow it was a good day, long day, but every day is a long day. <laughs> every day is a long day. I hear these guys and girls online talking about, oh, nine to five, it's it's so long. Like, you know, these uh, people who just got out of college and they get their first nine to five job and they're like, oh, when do I have time for friends? When do I have time for myself? I'm always working. I leave the house at six in the morning and I get back at six at night. Wow, that must be nice. That's a short work day. <laughs> Uh, but you know in my I guess in their defense. I don't have any commute time My commute time is about three seconds from the back there to the front here. That's then I'm at work So I, I, I cut the commute time all the way up, but then I work a 14-hour day when I'm in Canada. I work a 16-hour day And it depends in states here if you uh, split your sleeper berth a 14-hour day can turn into a 17-hour day Right All depends how you work your logbook, but these are long days and you're away from home which is tough, tough on everybody out here. But anyways, thanks guys for uh, tuning in, hanging out with me. Uh, my uh, video from uh, Beaver Bitcoin went live today and I was reading all the comments coming in. 
And uh, I, I really think Bitcoin is one of the most misunderstood concepts of our time. Now, I'm not a crypto guy. I'm not a Bitcoin guy. It's, it's not crypto, it's Bitcoin. There's a difference. But I'm not the guy to explain it to everybody. I do hold Bitcoin. Uh, it's not something you're going to get rich on quick. Not usually anyways, unless you get really lucky and you invest a whole pile and then, oh, it goes up overnight and you quickly sell off. But uh, it's definitely misunderstood. So it's not a scam that I shared with you guys, like some people were insinuating in the comments there. I would never do that. I only promote products and services on my channel that I use myself. So I buy Bitcoin through Beaver Bitcoin. I hold Bitcoin in my own wallet. I'm not doing an ad for them in this video right now, but uh, I wanna clarify that there's definitely some misunderstanding of what it is. And when people leave comments down below, I, I love the feedback, but I would suggest that everyone do their research because if you don't know how it works and what it is and you begin talking about it, it's very obvious that you don't know what it is. So I'm not a financial advisor. I'm never gonna tell you what to do with your money. If you're not comfortable with it, then don't do it. Maybe do some more research into it. I've spent a long time now looking into everything. Uh, it's nice that I have my own wallet, right? It's not held on some exchange somewhere. I'm not gonna turn into a big crypto guy, I don't think. But it is a thing that I have. It's just like stocks and bonds. It's an investments. It's very volatile. And everything comes with risk, right? It's more of a long-term strategy. But I just wanted to clar clarify that. I was reading the comments today. I was getting a little bit frustrated because it uh, there's a clear misunderstanding of what Bitcoin is. I always make sure that whoever I promote, I know personally. That I met through somebody I know personally. I don't accept promotions through email. I get... I get some every day. Everybody wants to promote. There's always somebody in my uh, email that says, hey, we'd like to work in collaboration. I think a lot of those are scams. So I sift through all of those for you and then I dig into the ones that I meet through people. I'm not telling you you have to get into Bitcoin at all. Now, if you're not comfortable with it, I would say wait till you're more comfortable with it because there are scammers out there. The, it, Bitcoin's not the scam. There are scammers in every aspect of life. I get at least one phone call every single day of a scammer trying to scam me out of something. I'm completely unrelated to, to Bitcoin. People in my comment sections all the time, right? Trying to scam you guys out of something. They're all trying to pose as me. That's why I say be very careful of the username. A lot of them use crypto as their method of scam because it's much harder to track. That's true. So if you're not careful with it, yeah, it's easy to lose it. You got to know what you're doing. Know the game before you get in the game. But good thing there's lots of resources online for us to learn about what we're doing and learn how to secure your assets and your investments. If you're not interested, that, that's, that's totally fine. But those of you who are already into Bitcoin, already hold Bitcoin, this is just another avenue for Canadians to go and buy it, right? So we'll talk about them more in the morning. Just wanted to clear that up. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more trucking.